Vinton History Museum uh, really came uh, as a result of interest in Vinton historical items and artifacts at, just after the 1984 Ventennial, which is what we called our 100th anniversary of our charting of the town. Over a period of about five years, we, uh, this group of people uh, gathered artifacts, stored them in their homes, stored them in very, very different places with, uh, with no place really to exhibit them or have the public to come inside and see them. So in 1989, the town of Vinton provided this building to the Vinton Historical Society to found the museum. So the museum was founded and opened its doors first in April of 1989. This museum holds in excess of 3,000 and counting artifacts, uh, anything from clothing to formal portraits, furniture, dishware, kitchenware especially. Preserving the past for the future is very important so people can experience, they can realize um, if it's as simple as an egg beater, a child seeing an egg beater for the first time and figuring out what that was used for rather than uh, a food processor. You know, they might see in their kitchen now. I think for older people, it's for memories, and for younger people, it's to see things that they can't believe exist. Uh, we have kids that come in here, high school kids, and we have uh, interns that regularly serve every year. And they're amazed by things like Victrolas. We have, a, we have uh, almost the entire history of, of, uh, of uh, music making um, devices Victrolas and uh, Edison uh, cylinder players that kind of shows you the evolution before we went into electronics. The youth and children and adults thoroughly enjoy hearing the Victrolas here. Wind them up, let them play, and of course the music's unique. You know, it's a little bit grainy, a little bit different sounding, but love seeing those eyes wide, you know, and they're asking questions and, you know, how does that work? and um, what's this piece of equipment? It's really neat for uh, seeing people learn. During the anniversary year, the 35th anniversary year of the Vinton History Museum, we're going to be working on a large project, probably one of the largest since we opened. And it is rising to new heights for a cargo personnel lift that will make the museum accessible to everyone. We've saved $60,000 over a period of about 20 years and we anticipate grants of around $40,000 and we're proud to kick off a public-private campaign raising another $60,000. We are a free museum. We are a donation museum. There's no cost to come here. We invite what we tell a lot of, a lot of people uh, to Vinton's front porch. We consider our front porch as Vinton's front porch. We say, go get your cup of coffee, come in and sit on the chairs on our porch and enjoy yourself. And so even when we're not open, and we're open uh, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, from about 10 to two, and then the first Saturday. But we invite people, if we're not here, come and sit down and drink your coffee on our porch and watch the people walk by. Vinton's done a great job for 140 years embracing that sense of community. Uh, the people are kind, they're helpful, it's just a, a beautiful place to live and of course currently things are exciting but again we're proud to you know to preserve the past for the future and we're rising up to new heights hopefully with that new cargo lift.